<laughs> All right, let's go see Studenitsa Monastery. Let's go. Road trip starts now. So we've made it in Studenitsa Monastery and the first thing we notice is this massive and beautiful white marble church which is actually the Church of the Virgin Mary. Now they've done something very smart on the inside of the church and they've left the original 13th century and 14th century paintings which to be clear are worn down and sort of missing in spots but really command some respect and have a certain vibe inside the church that is really formidable and grand although because of the old paintings they do not allow cameras in there so you'll have to take my word for it because they protect the uh, paintings from the flash of the camera now uh, there's actually two churches at this monastery the church of the virgin mary as well as the church of the king now the king in this instance is stefan de Monia, who founded this monastery in 1190 as well as I believe he's the founder of the medieval Serbian state. So he's, at least to some degree, the father of medieval Serbia. And I believe his final resting place is here as well. Now, to be clear, we are more or less in the middle of nowhere, which sort of adds to the feeling of the monastery. It's a very quiet and peaceful place. And the stone wall around the outside almost makes it feel like a fortress at times. But it is a bit of a drive to get here, and there isn't really anything to do other than learn the history and appreciate it. Although for me, I enjoy a monastery visit to start a road trip day. You guys know, I talk fast, I'm very spastic. This place is a very calming presence. Mm -hmm. It's like medicine for the soul. I believe it's still a monastery today because there are religious people around yes. with long beards and black robes. Yes, very calming, that's for sure. Very peaceful. So uh, with that being said, let's continue our road trip. Let's go. Let's go. Right, stop number two on our road trip today is Maglitz Castle, which you can see way up here. And I guess the story is there was a bridge connecting here to here, but it was washed away by some sort of flood and or high tide. And so nowadays they have this volunteer boat that goes across every two hours. Yes. Lucky for us, we came here at the perfect time and mm -hmm. it's going right now. So we feel grateful for that. And big shout out to the volunteers who get people across yeah. to see some uh, very unique history. So let's go, let's Meglitz go. Castle. Okay, here we go. Oh, your feet might get wet. <laughs> okay, something new, Ivana. <laughs> it's a bit uh, simple technology, but it works. Yeah, hey, shout out. <laughs> shout out to the volunteers, man. Can't beat it. <laughs> All right, made it across the boat ride, which in the end was pretty scenic and actually free of charge. So, can't complain. And now we have a short hike up to the castle. This is actually the volunteer camp. Volunteer Santa Rosa. Ponies. Some ponies, some goats running around, and where we're trying to go is up there. <laughs> Ivana got distracted. <laughs> We gotta go, we got two hours to get back because that boat goes every two hours. You miss the last boat, you're spending the night in the volunteer camp. <laughs> Didn't prepare for another hike. <laughs> These volunteers gotta build a cable car. <laughs> That'll be some volunteers. <sighs> oh. Alice, the pad right now looks pretty nice. Hey. Yes. The volunteers are done This is hot. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Right here, guys. Oh. But the view is gorgeous. Oh. To be clear, we're hiking at 2 p.m. It's the hottest part of the day. Yes. No water, no sunscreen, no common sense. In skirts and, and no sandals. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Let's check this fortress. Ta-da! Oh, we are inside the magnificent fortress. Oh, oh. All right, let's explore. You sound excited, Eva. Oh. 
All right, so introducing Maglitz Castle, which I guess has some renovations and reconstruction happening to it, which is a good thing because the view up here and the history is second to none. So you guys know I love fortresses and forts and strongholds and castles, but the history here is very unique. So this place was built to defend against and actually has history defending against the Mongolians rather than the Ottomans. So it was built in the early 1200s, so early 13th century, which only puts it like 200 years older than the other fortresses we've seen that were used against the Ottomans. But something about the Mongolian Empire just sounds like a thousand years older than uh, the Ottoman Empire. I'm just taking a rest here. No, no, no. What you're doing is you're going up the ladder. Okay. Come on, come on, don't stop. Oh. Come on, don't stop. This is going to be special. Good viewpoint up here. Oh, the adventure continues. It's going to take all day to get up here, but we're going to make it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I need, like, some kind of popsicles or something. Oh, that'd be good. <sighs> oh, yeah, Ivana. This is the place to be right now. This is it. Beautiful pathway here with a wooden uh, fence or guardrail beside it. Just nice. You can imagine the son of Stefan Nemanja, named Stefan Nemanjic. He built this castle, who was the first king of Serbia. And his other son was Saint Sava, who was the first archbishop of Serbian Orthodox. So pretty incredible lineage. And this is what makes these road trip days so special to me. Because honestly, through all the sweat and sunburn and muscle cramps, this place is so much better than any classroom I could ever sit in. So we've learned a lot today about uh, some really important people in medieval Serbia and what better place to learn all this stuff than up here with these incredible views. Uh, there's the boat we came on up. There's the river running through. You can imagine right here something like 800 years ago Serbian people fighting off the Mongolians and then a couple hundred years later fighting off the Ottoman Empire. Uh, seriously special place to walk around all these little passageways and uh I do feel kind of scary on this wooden platform part but uh come on this is how you can actually learn for me and retain the information because if i sit in a classroom the info goes over here and out the other ear if i come here i can actually remember it and store it because what an adventure we've been on today from the boat ride all the way up to the uh staircase and now we're oh my gosh hanging on the edge of a castle Serbian road trip success. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, let's uh, go find some food. Maybe we can eat the same thing that Stefan Nemanje would have eaten. What would a founder of a country eat? Ivana, maybe, maybe bread. roast, maybe bread, maybe roasted pig. I was gonna say. Kaimak. Kaimak. Let's go find some uh, good Serbian food. Wow, look at the view here, babe. <sighs> and with that, we go for lunch. See, so check out our accommodation, everybody. Here we are in Karl Yevo. Top floor, you can see with the slanted ceiling, got the bedroom. Looks like two rooms actually, but it's actually the same room now that I realize it. <laughs> and kitchen over here. I will say one of the easiest check-in processes in all of Serbia. Right. The guy who checked us in named Zoran was very good. Now, our very cool window here on the diagonal. Uh, our plan was to go explore Karl Yevo which is where we are now. But as you can see, the storm is coming. The trees are moving and the wind is blowing. So I think we're gonna wait for the Karl Yevo vlog for tomorrow morning. So Ivana and I are not gonna make it to go out for dinner. It just started raining right now. Oh, lightning. The storm is literally coming right now. You can see the lightning. So rather than go for dinner, Ivana's gonna make us some very delicious cold cuts and cheese sandwiches, which is very exciting. And we'll show you guys Karl Yevo tomorrow. Evidently there's a huge sundial, but uh, yes. you're not gonna see a sundial in a storm. So see you guys tomorrow. Transition. So, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey everybody. It is now tomorrow morning. We are here in the center of Karl Yevo, where there is this statue here, this big monument that also doubles as a sundial which is a pretty unique feature of a downtown or center of a city, at least from what Ivana and I have seen in our travels. Although, I'm going to expose my lack of <laughs> brain power in the coming moments here, because this is the shadow coming off the sundial. As you can see, it points way to this 
sort of gray line here. Uh, over here, you can see VII, which to me means seven. Over here, VIII, which to me means eight. So the shadow is in between seven and eight, which makes it feel like it's 7.30. Unfortunately, the time right now is something like- 9.18. 9.18. So we are totally missing how to read this sundial. <laughs> uh, I think we're doing it wrong, but it looks like it's between seven and eight. To make matters worse, there is a Cyrillic uh, letter here that looks like a three. I'm sure it's not a three, but somewhere between seven and eight and three, Somehow that makes 9.15. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice statue nonetheless. So come along with us as we explore the uh, center of Karlievo, maybe for a morning coffee. Let's go. Let's go. All right, simple breakfast here today, guys. We found this nice spot for a sandwich and a coffee. We're not gonna eat too much this morning because later today we're driving to Niche for the greatest restaurant in all of Serbia, in our opinion. <laughs> we're gonna go back there. We were there two years ago and we uh, had the best Serbian food we ever had. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go back to Kafana Marak later today. Uh, Serbia tends to make good sandwiches because they have yeah. good bread and good prosciutto. Yeah, this one is simple but good. The bread is good. Oh, and cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Fresh bread. Yeah. All right. All right. There you have it, everybody. Yes, I'm tired actually. We've done, done a, a lot. full, yeah. We've done a lot. And yesterday, hiking, visiting monastery. Maglitz Castle. Don't miss it. Yes. You guys so know good. me. I love the fortresses. I love the castles. That place is nice. That was Amazing. A highlight. That it was, a it highlight. was so beautiful up there. Yeah. Amazing. Worth the hike. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. And uh, we'll see you from the next video at Kafen and Marak. Maybe the best restaurant in the whole world. <laughs> yes. Uh, even, the even, even the birds want to sing Here, Babe, <laughs> don't fit this. Will they eat it? They probably will. Well, give them a piece then. They a love. piece does they better, love. yes. Come on, don't be but nope, they don't like sandwich. <laughs> Maybe they prefer chavap, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. I knew they like it. <laughs> oh gosh, look what I've done, Ivana. The animals are coming around everywhere. <laughs> Birds and dogs everywhere. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say it. As soon as we agree. The best castle we've seen. <laughs> yes. We saw some nice ones in Romania. Uh -huh. This is real history, not refurbished for marketing purposes. This is real deal. This is like Ponari Castle where Vlad the Impaler actually lived. Right, or right. Actually spent time. Nice castle. Beautiful. Can't beat it. I think it's my favorite castle. Well, I tend to be a victim of the moment and do hyperbole, but... No, 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 no. I agree with memory, you. I agree with you. Top castle. Yes, really nice. look at this. Woo.